Is he better? I think so. But of course, with tuberculosis. He still smokes. Uh -huh. Uncle Dominic. His last wish was to be buried in Mont Lepre. He was a saint. He fell off his ladder yesterday. Authorization for burial. He, he fell on his head. And my aunt, who was there, she license. You. Identification.
boys from our village? Yes, from Montelepre. The young one, Giuliano, just killed one of my men on the Trapani Road. We caught them stealing. <clears throat> Giuliano and his cousin. Stealing what? Grain for bread from Montelepre. Grain? They sell it in the village? Worse. They give it away to the ones who won't work. Uh, if your excellency would just uh, sign this complaint. You know, back in Hartford, Connecticut, we have this old saying. Let them eat bread. It's not for the grain. It's for your horses, which they stole. Oh, don't worry, Captain. I'll get them back. In the usual way. I'm sorry about your man. It's all right. You know, it's very unlike a village boy to kill a policeman. It's usually the other way around, isn't it? Goodbye, Captain. Fired first. I want the truth. Please, Father, I swear. You see, we stolen this grain. You know, it's one of Giuliano's ideas. <laughs> there are all those people you've got starving in Montelepre. So he said, let's get them some food. Good deeds are always punished here. His was. Can he stay here till he gets well? chance of that. He's dying? Well, he isn't living very long. With that hole in him. And all the blood he's lost. We'll get him a doctor. A real doctor. Even a barber knows death when he sees it. He was always a generous boy. Die. Remencionum peccatorum tibi consedo. Just like that, over some, over some lousy brick for Christ's sake! You should have known that it was God's will. People have always starved the month of leprosy. And always will. Omnipotent day. Decate onipotens Deus, Patris, Spiritus, Spiritus Santos. Amen. He's young. He's strong. He may take his time about leaving us. But leave us he will.
leave you up here like this. Please, please. Obey me. I tell you, Professor, it's hard to believe. I cut his hair, your godson's hair, just last month. The American GI look he wanted. Now he's a murderer. Price on his head? Terrible. Terrible. It's no more terrible than one of your haircuts on his head. <laughs> That's unworthy of you, Professor. Try again. I'd rather not. Professor Adonis, your godson, Giuliano, gets in touch with you, as he will. You have to tell him that he is to surrender. Is that understood? I take no orders from you, Quintana, and Giuliano takes none from me. He killed a policeman. We don't do that here. He was trying to deliver food to the people. That is not his job. What he's done is also a crime against the government of Italy. And Sicily is Italian, like it or not. And I am the mayor of Montalepre, like it or not. And I am, as you are, a friend of Don Mazzino Croce. Very stupid. Don Mazzino orders him to surrender. Then? Then Don Mazzino will pay the dead man's family the usual indemnity, and charges will be dropped, and... And Giuliano will be free to join Don Mazzino. Don Mazzino has always had his eye on that boy. Damned if I know why. Wild. No controlling him. Who wants that? But he is lucky. The Duchess got her horses back. You've got blood on your shoe. Give a bad shave, you know that. Good morning, Mayor. Giuliano? He's dying, Professor. Don't want land. They say the people only want bread. They are wrong. We want the land that's ours. That's why we're here. This is the law. The new law. Since the last election, anyone who has worked in the fields of an estate has the right, the absolute right, any acre of that estate's uncultivated land. He is only one man. A man bought and paid for by Prince Boss and Don Mazzino. <laughs> you are hundreds. You are citizens. The law is with you. Not them. Who is he? One man. A shot in the belly. You are hundreds. He says he's gonna live. You don't think so. If he thinks so, he will. Anyway, he's safe in the mountains. He told me to tell you he'll see you soon. Why does your brother do this? Because the people are afraid to claim what's theirs by law. He's the one who should be afraid. Is the mayor of Montalebre going to kill a political opponent in public? You are in our way.
How did you get in here? <coughs> you smoke too much. Giuliano's going to live. Thank God. Well, maybe that's premature. Why? Don Mazzino wants him to surrender. Don Mazzino can go fuck himself. No. no. Speak of him like that. He protects us. Us. He only protects the people who pay him. I just saw Silvio Ferra outside Prince Borsa's gate. Quintana's horse almost killed him. Priscilla says Giuliano is dying. If he was like you or me, he would. But he isn't. He's decided to live. So he will. I'm off to Palermo. Steal. Mm. Meet some women. What else? You know something funny? Some things are funnier than other things. What is this thing? Giuliano, he's not afraid to die. What do you think so, Professor? In their bodies, the wasted and aged, sit the souls of old men. How grievous are the poor things, and how bored with the miserable life they endure, how they tremble lest they lose it, and how they dote on it. The confounded and contradictory souls that sit comical, tragical in their worn out hides. The coffee is very good, I can smell it. From Brazil, Don Mazzino. I love Brazilian coffee, which is why I always drink chamomile tea, which I hate. My liver has turned traitor. My son is in Brazil. He studies insects. Entomology is a fascinating science. In your world, Dr. Natori, but not in mine. To me, a bug is a bug, no more, no less. But for my son, all that matters are the mating habits of the Teresa. Your son is a scholar, Don Mazzino. My son does not exist. For me, that is. Dear Professor, Don Mazzino has honored us for a visit. It is a joy to see you, Don Mazzino. Dear old Hector. Not many of us left, are there? Time. The enemy of man. The only winner. We need your counsel, Professor Adonis. Oh, it's a very small matter, really. Don Mazzino has a nephew who wants to be a doctor. Dr. Notori says the boy does not qualify uh, academically. Don Mazzino has graciously come here to plead his nephew's case in person. Don Mazzino has done so much for our university, I thought that if we put our heads together, we could find a solution to this problem, which... The solution to any problem can usually be found within the problem itself. How wise. As Hector here knows, I'm not much of a reader. As for mathematics, a mystery. Oh, I can add, of course, and subtract. And divide? You flatter me. Anyway, I've been able to pick up just about all I ever needed to know in my line of work. Why can't my nephew do the same? I beg you, sir. Don't break my poor sister's heart. Please. 
I'm sorry. Of course, but What I... harm can my poor nephew do? Why well, get him a government job with the army or with old people? He can hold their hands and listen to their troubles. He's a sensitive boy. He can't stand the sight of blood. I think there's a curse on my family. I'm afraid, sir, that that is part of the problem. Professor Adonis, Don Messina's nephew, wants to be a surgeon. Your nephew, for all practical purposes, is a functional illiterate who will someday have to enter the human body with a sharp knife in fear of blood. My dear Don Messino, I... I think I see a way through this labyrinth. Let me propose a compromise. Impossible. Your nephew will receive passing marks to become a doctor, not a surgeon. He will then be given a large pharmaceutical book. When he is told a symptom, he will look it up in the book and <laughs> prescribe a cure. I, I predict extraordinary success for the boy. I know the boy. He is a born healer. I surrender. Once again, Professor Adonis, you have defeated me with your good sense and your reasonableness. So be it. My nephew will be a doctor and not a surgeon. My ambitious sister, a born surgeon herself, a butcher anyway. We'll have to settle for that. You must resign from the university today. You're mad. No. But you are. Why? Why? What? Why should I leave? You have said the word no to Don Mazzino Croce. That means you can no longer live in Sicily. How do you feel? Did you ever have a bullet hit you? I'm a Franciscan, not a Jesuit. Well, first you feel this shock. And then pain. Then all this hot blood starts to come out. And you feel wonderful. Immortal. And so you are. You are about to return to your heavenly protector. You feel you're someone else. Uh, someone untouchable. Someone who could... The answer to Don Mazzino, your earthly protector, is no. You see, I think I can do just about anything. Since, uh, since you were shot. Since I was shot and did not die, as I was supposed to. Here is Don Mazzino, your earthly protector. He is our chief. Here, the rich landlords, like Prince Borsa, they pay Don Mazzino and his friends to protect them. Here is the church and hope of heaven. After death, of course. Which of the three will you join? None. I'm over here. I'm Giuliano. No one can live in Sicily without the blessing of one of the three circles. What about the people? People? They are the dust you draw your circles in. Those, those are the people. Sicilians are hopeless. I mean exactly that. Nothing changes here. Ever. Giuliano says no. <laughs> He's romantic. He wants to give or buy land for the people. Is he a communist? No, no, no. But he's engaged to Silvio Ferra's sister. This election is going to give our party trouble, thanks to Silvio Ferra and his friends. Where do they come from? They spring up like mushrooms after rain. Anyway, 
the minister is frantic. After this terrible burning in my stomach. There's nothing wrong with the soup. Now drink it, Mazzino. You always have this terrible burning in your stomach. The way you used to eat and drink, it's a wonder you have any stomach left at all. It's mushroom. Oh, God. Oh, I know it's poison. Uh, oh, sorry, Anzo. What about Giuliano? He goes to the mountains. To be a bandit like Terranova and Pesa Temple. No. I don't want him to end up like them in a prison cell. When do they go on trial? Never. I have decided to free them myself. Hell, I should think. To tell Giuliano to behave. He will be safe because he is under my protection. What must he do for you in return? I want him to like me, that's all. But you tell him, if he so much as looks at a bug, he is a dead man. Don Mazzino is our friend. He is not my friend. And he is not my brother's friend, either. He could be. I can just see him helping us divide up the land. I hate political women. So does Giuliano. Don't get mixed up in this election. He's got enough trouble. Don't worry. Opposites attract, they say. <laughs> you look good. You look different. <laughs> hey, mustache. Mm. It excites women. <laughs> you should grow one, too. Giovanna, oh, she's like a broken record. <laughs> She tells me, don't let Giuliano work for Don Mazzino. <laughs> don't let him rob the poor people. The poor people. Ah. <laughs> we won't ever rob poor people. That's a promise. priest. Shall I join the order? Over my dead body. How's your brother? Do you care? Yes, I do. Ever since Quintana knocked him down. He's also right, your brother, you know. About the land. <coughs> Here we are in deep shit and you talk politics. Well, it's all the same, isn't it? Professor Adonis says you'll have to go up. Up with the angels. Angels like Passatempo and Terranova. Don't worry. I'll come down to see you. Anyway, no matter what, I am very proud you did what you did. That I said no to Don Mazzino. Maybe one day I'll say yes. Your brother. <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> You're really going up with me? Yeah. I want to be an angel, too. What do I care for Palermo? Huh? Bright lights, women. Well, if you want to be an angel, <laughs> you've got to change your shoes. <laughs> forgive them political women. what they've done to you. If I think what I shall do to them. What are you going to do? Save the world. <laughs> <laughs>
What else? <laughs> Don't worry. I have a plan. Be careful. All right. For you. Of a bank? Yes. As a matter of fact, I did. Small bank. Hey, General! Got your wine! I'm not breaking my back and loading this stuff. You got to help her there. Help huh? her. Forget about it. She's drunk, the bitch. There's only one thing she's good for. All right, all right. Unload this wagon. Wake up, bitch. Come on. <laughs> Drop your belt, Corporal. So that bitch is Giuliano, huh? Don't be insulting. Corporal. Canio. Silvestro. Take your belt off! Unlock your cage, Mr. Silvestro. <laughs> Get your hands up. You're free to go. Or you can come with me to the mountains. Get moving. Get moving or I'll kick your ass. If you do, I'll kick yours. <laughs> and now, I want Terra Nova and Passatempo. Sit down, Mr. Silvestro. Corporal Silvestro. Mm-mm. <clears throat> 
Aren't you a bit young to be declaring war on Rome? At my age, Alexander the Great had conquered half the world. They called him fire from heaven. Alexander. He wasn't a Sicilian like you or me. There's no fire in our heaven to fall. I am Salvatore Giuliano. You are both in my debt. No! It's a miracle. Please, let me kill him. No! Let us respect him. We don't kill the police. At least not deliberately. Who says there is no fire from heaven in Sicily? Won't come. Even Buster Tempo is impressed by miracles. The only thing that impresses him is cash. I'll see he gets plenty of that. All I want from him is loyalty. Loyalty? Buster Tempo killed the uncle who gave him his first donkey. Then I'll have to teach him the meaning of loyalty. It's used to the cold up here. But a temple. <coughs> where are your men? Where I want them. And where is that? Watching you. Watching me. debt. So how much? To each of us, one third of all we collect. Fair enough. But you follow me. Is that understood? <laughs> you are a boy. But you are lucky. We'll do good business. You'll be rich, Giuliano. I must warn you. I want to help the people buy land. <laughs> Why do you want to do that? No one else ever has. Because no one else ever has. Giuliano, if you're a communist, we're finished. <laughs> I will only kill for a good Christian. I am a good Christian. Well, don't be too good a Christian, or you'll end up alone. Me? Never. So what do you want? Land. Join you. I 
I joined. Salvatore Giuliano! Lord of the Mountain! No one gets hurt if your men unload the money. Give the order. What if I refuse? the newspapers that I, Salvatore Giuliano, accept the army's generous contribution to the poor people of Sicily. The money will be used to buy land for those without land, food for those without food. Your third of the money, not mine! My third, of course. I want all the credit. <laughs> For me, or for the election? 
neither for the peasants to buy land with. You are serious, aren't you? All I want is for them to know that I did this. For them. Why don't you run for president of Sicily? I've killed too many people. Maybe not enough. <laughs> I wonder if they'll love you for this. The very odd are people. We'll know soon enough. Won't we? I must say that here in Rome, I follow, as a Sicilian, of course, your young friend's career with pride for his, uh, for his dashing style. But as minister, I am humiliated when he makes my police look stupid. And as a conservative politician, I'm terrified when he starts giving Ferrer money to buy land for the peasants. He could make Ferrer popular. He could lose the election. My dear Tretzer, if you want me to make a speech, I'll make a speech on the radio, and Sicily will listen, and that will be the end of Giuliano, the politician. If the peasants vote communist next year, our party is finished. Because the communists are just like the fascists. They want all the power concentrated in the state. This means they will not allow me protect your interest. Or you to protect mine. The parties of the left must be destroyed. Crushed. Your young friend must give up Silvio Ferra. Let me tell you about this girl. She has dark red hair, green eyes, skin pale as milk, fresh milk. We are talking of life and death, and you sing me the song of Solomon? Save the horse till later. I sing not of a whore, but of Giovanna Ferra. She is the sister of Silvio. Giuliano gives her money to impress her, that is all. He is not a communist. He is just in love. I envy him. Commander Rocafino has asked for reinforcements. He wants... Once Giuliano helps us win the election, we can always find a way. He wants an armored... Why should Giuliano help us? Look, there are matters that I must leave to Rome, and there are matters that Rome must leave to me. The more of a people's hero my friend becomes, the more use he will be to us when the people vote. You are a master in your house. What news of your son? I've been giving you news of my son. Could you not tell? I could never control Presser's tempo. And you have 
the meeting out of your hand. <laughs> what next? <laughs> Will we be having the pleasure of your husband's company this season? I, don't I hope not. He's quite happy in Paris. Spending my money. How's your harvest? Best in years. You heard, didn't you, how they tried to take some of my land? Communists. I told Don Messino. Hang them now, before the election. After, it will be too late. You know, Sandro, just between us, we can't see what's wrong with letting them have the land we don't use. That's a very American thing to say. I am very American. <laughs> Although maybe I'm too societized. Anyway, what we don't use is ruthless. <laughs> Himself. Let's make a place for our guest. Here, beside me. I'm sorry, but I've already eaten. Oh, that's right. You die early in the mountains. Yes. My word. But the rest of you, go on with your lunch. Prince Borisa. This is a pleasure. Hmm, quiet. I've come for your jewels. They're upstairs. I know where you keep them. May I have your watch? the bank in Palermo. Last night you wore the Crotone emeralds. I sent them back to Palermo this morning. No car has gone from here to Palermo in the last week. All right. Don't make a mess. You're an American, aren't you? Yes. And like every Sicilian, you want to go to America and start a pizzeria in New Jersey. No. Never. I wouldn't mind being an American. I'd like to be free. But no pizzeria. What else? Mafia? You people know a lot more about them than I do. After all, you pay them. So you're just a bandit. No, I'm not just a bandit. Oh, that's right. You give money to buy land for the people. Or so you tell the papers. I hate Glenn Miller. Don't you have any Count Basie? I love Glenn Miller. Since you are so interested in jewelry, have you heard String of Pearls? Yeah, it's okay. <gasps> Too fast.
What? I suppose... Now you'll rape me. Don't I attract you? Yes, you do. Really. But you're married. You're a duchess. I'm engaged. Please. If you don't rape me, I shall have to rape you. They say he's quite musical. Quite handsome, too. It was my father's watch they took. Dominus, you know, will hang up. Beautiful. That makes two of us. Draw the curtains. I like the light. But in Sicily, we only make love in the dark. Then it's time you tried the light. You want to look at me, I want to look at you. Women don't want to look at men. They do, if they are in love. Love? Well, blast. Will that do? <laughs> <laughs> you must have seen a lot of them when your army was here. My husband married me for my money. I married him for his title. I'm not a nun. No. You're a rapist. How do you paint upside down on a ceiling? <laughs> With great difficulty, I should think. You know Truman? Is what? Human? Truman. The president. Your president. Do you know him? <laughs> In Hartford, my father is a Republican. A what? Never mind. What do you want to know about Truman? You know I make statements in the newspapers. Yes. We love them. I mean that. The Sicilians love you for what you say. Some of them. Could you get a message from me to Truman? Yes. I suppose I could. What? I could get Sicily to hold a referendum. Sicily would then vote to join the United States as the 40-something or other state. And then Truman take us in. Okay? What about Rome? What about Italy? They are killing us. Why am I a thief? Because they shot me here for getting bread from Montelepre. Why? Because if I didn't steal, a lot of people would have starved. Why? Why? Because there is no work. I'm afraid Mr. Truman won't help you. He can't. But why don't you go to America? And do what? Work. In a pizzeria. In New Jersey. Not for long, I'm afraid. Don't worry about the jewelry. The insurance company in Milan will pay. And you'll be all the richer. Por 
can I say you're right? A quarter of a million is a lot of money. Yes, it is. And it's my money, not yours. Don Mazzino, we pay you very well so that we can live here safely. Has any bodily harm ever befallen your excellency? Mimo, bring me a Coca-Cola. Yes, Don Mazzino. Champagne is too acid for me now. <laughs> so I drink the drink of your people. No, no, no. I will pour it, thank you. It seems to me only fair. Our Americans love that word fair. I drink to fairness for all. Oh, please, no wit, Domazina. You're acting out of character. No irony, please. Oh, but I have so many characters. So many uses. And here is one, as if by magic. Your jewels, Excellency. Brought to you by Professor Hector Adonis of the University of Palermo. Italy's number one authority on Dante. Leopardi. So, all's well that ends well. Ah, oh, you'll pay too much, I agree. But as you have no intention of ever telling the insurance company you got your jewels back, that will be 100% profit for you. And what I'm sure was a very interesting transaction. Interesting? You have met and even got to know the handsomest young man in Sicily. He's keeping the ring, Your Excellency. Why? I suppose he wears it. Oh, oh it's like grand opera. So romantic. The bandit, the beautiful American duchess. Passion. Goodness. She's mad. I'm she's mad. And she's American, but she's the Duchess of You may be a Sicilian Duchess, but you're still an American woman. And a match for any Sicilian man. <laughs> I am at your knees. Stay just as you are, Don Mazzino. You'll make me blush if you get down on your knees. Oh, if I had the power to make you blush. Aren't you afraid? Of making you blush? No. Of Giuliano. That boy. If I were you, I would be afraid. You know what they call him? The Lord of the Mountains. Well, Sicily is mostly mountains. True. But the money and the power is here by the sea. There is nothing in the mountains but goats. And Giuliano. May I have the honor, Excellency, of dancing with you to show that we are friends, as always. Young, I used to go to what they called tea dances. Like your husband. You know, he and I were boys together. He a duke, I poor. But here in Sicily, all men are the same. Yes. And all women are either Madonnas or Horus. I was just in Rome. How that city wakes me up. <laughs> oh, it's come back here with a new zest for life. The only zest the sewing men have is for death. Don't say the word. Thank you, Professor. I think the uh, weather is changing. Good night, gentlemen. Thank you, madam. Good night. Well, 
he still refuses to meet you. But he accepts your paternal affection. But that's your beginning. What he wants, I give. Giuliano is coming to Palermo. No, he's not coming to Palermo. That is out of the question. <laughs> I think I know you're crazy. If anybody recognizes you. How could they? I don't look like me all dressed up, do I? Well, you don't look like somebody who wants to help the poor. I bought you a dress because you're poor. I bought this suit because I am poor. I wanted really white trousers. You know, a suit suit. <laughs> tell you that you were a show-off? My mother. What did you do when she said that? I shot her. I don't think that's funny. Okay, I'll never make a joke again. Not that kind. Not to me. Let's go. I want to go dancing. You are crazy. I am crazy to be with you in Palermo. Yeah. I want you to take me home now. Please shoot Giuliano. Only oh, he lives. No, they can't shoot no. him. <laughs> Have you used it, Professor? Christ is risen. Jesus Christi custodiat animam tuam et vitam eternam. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesus Christi custodiat animam tuam et vitam eternam. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesus Christi custodiat animam tuam et vitam eternam. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesus Christi, custodia animam tu, amen, vitam eternum, amen.
Lord Uldan. He's been here for three months. Yes, rough hands. Salvatore Giuliano. My sister has spoken to me. You have my blessing. And my gratitude for your support. Silvestro Canio is here, alone. He wants to join us. You want me to kill him? It's the oldest trick there is. The man's a spy. Well, because of you, I lost my stripes. What can I say? So what do you have to say? I know who betrayed you on Easter Sunday. The new priest, Father Doldana, was having his hair cut. He said you'd be in Montelepre last Sunday. Who told him? I think he heard it in the confessional. He thinks. He is no priest. I know. Then the barber, Frizella, he told Roccovino. Frizella has always been on the payroll. He's lying. Why? He'll betray you. Betray me? Only a friend can do that. All right, Silvestro. We'll see if you're lying or not. Not in the mountains, Giuliano. Come outside. <laughs> For God's sake, say something. What? You're the mayor. You're the friend of Don Mancini. I am. Come outside. Salvatore. 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 I cut your father's hair for 20 years. I've known you all your life! Yeah, man! 
twice when you were a baby. I saved your life when you were shot. Make your peace with God. Don't let my wife and boy starve. He won't starve, I promise. Where's my son? When he grows up. No, Giuliano! Don't. You're not. Until Don Mazzino lets me have more men. Nothing. I remember when he bought those shoes. He said they would last him forever. They did. I've known many hard men in my life. But the really hard ones are those who are able to live with what they have done. Everyone must know I'm a serious man. And serious man, give these to his son, yourself, if you dare. He wanted you to have these. When you grow up. What I did, I had to do. You see, he, he, I told him I would look after you. I will. Always. Excellency, Salvatore Giuliano respectfully requests your company for a short visit with him in the mountains. May I take my umbrella? Of course, Excellency. When we go outside, don't try and run. Actually, I don't run, ever. Not since school, of course. I have asthma.
It's very beautiful. Yes. Scarlatti. He was born near here. He had asthma too, I think. I don't suppose it's raining. No, Excellency. I'll get more food for you. Are you ready, my son? I hope so, Father, for I have sinned. Since my last communion, I killed a man. Worse, he suffers from pride. Himself too. I shall make my confession in the mountains, where we will all be closer to God. Am I still not wise? No. I am the unwise one. Because I love you, blood and all. Heaven help us both. Again, Prince Forsyth. Again? Oh, of course. Camilla's lunch. Yes. You were simply riveting that day. Riveting? I hope that's a compliment. It is. Well. Camilla's ring. Her father gave it to her. Oh. Didn't he? In point of fact, he didn't. I did. You too. Since you put it like that, yes. Me too. It's going to be fun having you around. I've always been curious about you. Hmm. We're sort of the same age. It's 45 and... if he's a day. <laughs> well, that's not so old. Hmm. You'll like it up here. Good for asthma. <laughs> At the risk of being tactless, what, may I ask, do you think I'm worth? You know, in the marketplace. Well, the government has a price of 10 million on my head. So I figured it would be an insult to the richest man in Sicily. If your ransom were not, ten times the price for me. I hope my family values me as highly as you do. They better. comes just like our police after the crime. So, here we are, all together, friends. Oh. Friends with a common enemy. Each of you rules your own city. Well, I am a prisoner in mine. Giordano lets me live in Montalepre because he is not ready to fight all of you. But when he is, what will you do? 
I am here to listen. My dear Don Massino, you know the respect we all have for you. If it weren't for you and your many friends in the American Army, we wouldn't be here today. That was yesterday. Today, we are being challenged. Made fools of. If we forgive the kidnapping of Prince Borsa, we lose all respect. I agree. Let me make one final effort to reason with Giuliano. No. Thank you. I knew that you would agree with me. But then that is our strength. We always act as one. You make no sense, Borsa. You say you treat your servants like your own family. Yet if one of them claims any of your land, no matter how useless, you kill him. <laughs> the land, no matter how useless, has belonged to my family for 1,000 years. I hold it for my son, as my father held it for me and his father before him. We will never let go. We can't let go. What happens if the communists win the election? They won't. Sicilians believe in God. What? The fake priest? He's dead. Good. I crucified him. Alive. He is a cruel man. <laughs> You're not. I do what I have to do. People say you're a communist. I hate politics. I also believe in God. <laughs> well, you're marrying Silvia Ferra's sister. He wants to take my land for the peasants. I'll help him do that, if I can. Why are you so eager for people to love you? Why are you so eager for them to hate you? Hate me? They don't. They can't. I'm the prince. I'm like the south wind from Africa. I've always been here. You haven't. We don't get that ransom soon. You won't be here much longer. Then my son will be the prince. And the south wind goes on. I hate you people. What you've done to us. You don't hate me. You hate not being me. But if you were born me, you would have never been you. So you can take my money, my life. But you can never be me. That's metaphysics, Aspanu. That's horseshit, Giuliano. <laughs> That's life, gentlemen. He has refused to come to me. But he says that I can come to him in the mountain. Like a king. I put a reward of 10 million on his head, and now he's put a price on mine three times that. He forbids the police to patrol the streets after midnight so his man can visit their families. Oh, in Sicily, the family is everything. Thank you, sir. Well, not a bad likeness. Tries to order next. What kind of a man is he? I've never met him. You've never met him? No. Last time I saw you, you said he was your son. I meant the son I never had, but that I mean to have. You know, I have spies in his camp. Mm. And if I gave the word for them to kill him, you know what they would do. They would kill me. They love him. All Sicily loves him. In the last election, Silvio Ferro nearly won. This year he will win. If I it... will win us this election, but on one condition. You must promise Giuliano a pardon. <laughs> Anything is possible in Italy, but even here the sun cannot rise in the West. He has committed every crime there I is. I said promise him a pardon. Will that work? He is getting married. We we'll want to settle down. Emigrate? Promise him a pardon.
I won't say I hope we meet again, but we had a good time, didn't we? I did. No asthma. Giuliano, stay out of politics. For your own good. Nothing changes here. If you keep on saying nothing changes, nothing will. Then I shall keep on saying it. You will. I won't. Goodbye. Goodbye, gentlemen. to shave him. He's shaving himself. He hasn't done that in 20 years. Like a bridegroom. Then you must perform the service. Something in your eye? Dust. Dust. Sicilian dust. like the President of the Republic. Into what? The government is afraid that you support the communists in the election. I said that was impossible. You're a Sicilian. You are the Sicilian. How do you know the Russians won't pardon us? Let us be practical. Tretz's party is the least dangerous to us. So it is for our common good if they win. What is our common good? Well, for us, communism is not... Uh, Commonly, a good thing. You agree to that, don't you? If I help Tretz's party, what will I get? Kick in the ass. As a sign of good faith, the minister has sent you this. Colonel 
Yamato's military plan to destroy you. This is my wedding gift to you and the beautiful Giovanna. The minister has also promised me personally that he will pardon you. After the election, of course, which we win. I'm sure he would never lie to you, nor to me. Even so, I want to hear Tretz's words from his own lips. Minister Tretzer will make the promise directly to you in Rome. I can't go to Rome, you know that. No, but you can go to Palermo, as you have already proved. You can go to the cathedral. The cardinal will tell you of Tretzer's promise of a pardon. But you can't trust the cardinal. I trust no one. Except Aspan Bishot. Let him talk to the cardinal. I have always known we would be friends. I've always known we would be friends. Yes. I hear you, Don Mazzino. I understand you. Come in, my son. Hello, Spano. Is this life, gentlemen? Whatever it is, Espano Pichetta, it is better than death. We have a message from Rome for Salvatore Giuliano. A solution. For both of you. Rome is very sensitive to Giuliano's popularity with certain elements of the population. Our people listen to him. They don't listen to anybody except when I said this to their throat. Please, not in front of his eminence. It's a bit crude, this part. I was like you. You were never like me. You see, we are honest in our way. In the event that Salvatore Giuliano, resident of Montelepre in the province of Palermo, in Sicily. I know that cop anywhere. Even if I were dead. Which you will be soon enough. You just made a deal with the government, the mafia, and the church. A deal? To do what? Keep the communists from voting. Scare the peasants. And? You, we, me too, that is, are pardoned. Then? I join Don Mazzino. You go to America, Giovanna. Good luck. Hey, the Lord of the Mountains 
than his lady. May I dance with your lady lord? Hold it. Thank you. You look beautiful. No, I mean it. You really look beautiful. Stay with me. Just stay with me. I'm not a singer. I'm a dancer. A hundred years. That's the way we do it in Palermo. <laughs> Giovanna says you may leave the mountains one of these days. That's what she wants. Is that what you want? I don't know. I hope to do something. You know, big for the people. If we win this election, there'll be land for everyone. That's something big. I thought nothing changes in Sicily. Don't work with the communists. But in land reform, we're allies. Don't be. Not this time, please. That's a wedding present!
here for the living on. Set fire over their heads. Scare them. Don't hurt them. So, idiot, whose idea was it to scare them? Don Mazzino. He tricked you. Don Mazzino's hand wasn't on that machine gun. When I find that, we we'll blast him. I know. Sad, isn't it? Make your peace with God, both of you, on your knees. I go to hell standing up. We never fired at people, I swear. If you hadn't done that, I would have shot you, too. You do what you have to do. Giuliano is the most hated man in Italy, thanks to us. One of our connections from America is on his way to Palermo to help him emigrate. Too late. I'm sending in commandos, paratroopers, armored cars. When we finish, there will be no mountains left in Sicily, much less Giuliano. Giovanna will go by sea to Tunis, where she will be given documents. Then she will be flown to America. But she will be protected by the same family your father worked for in New York. You will join her later. But Don Messino has arranged this with the greatest care. 
Don Mazzino always protects what he needs to protect. He was able to protect you for three years! But now... Now... Their party won the election because of me. Because of all the people who got killed at Ginestra. Now I want my payment. Land. They will never give it. I will make them give it. Get out. Well, Aspanu. Perhaps the time has come to think of yourself. He's right. I know he's right. Go on! No. I stay. To the end. What else? Deus in adiutorium. Meum intende. Domine ad adjuvandum me festina. Giuliano. Your eminence. You're now my prisoner. Guns in the house of God! A deceitful man in the house of God. You broke your word to me. I shall not move from this place. Kill me. Here. If you don't come with me, I'll tie you up like a goat. Carry you off to the mountains. Your immortal soul is in peril, my son. My soul? Think of yours. There is a special district in hell for false priests. You'll have a lot of company there. Many friends, I should think. What do you want? I wanted you to be an honest man of God, but you were not! Now, I want you to tell the people that the church will bless them if they take possession of the uncultivated land in Sicily. I am not the church. I'm not even an honest man of God in your eyes. But I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. There is only one redeemer, and you are not he. Now stop this comedy and shoot your gun. It is all you know how to do anyway. You who lied to me. Dare to suffer. gone too far, my son. You have sailed off the map of this world. I have often talked about you with Don Mazzino. Ever since you were shot, stealing, what was it, bread, he has protected you. From the friends, from the police, from everyone. Except yourself. He wanted you to be his son. I warned him this was not possible, that you are no one's son except God's. And God's purposes are not of this earth. Don Mazzino means to save your wife and unborn child. With my blessing, he will try to save you. I have advised against it. Now you know everything. My son, you are at the end. So kill me as the last bit of color in the glorious story of Giuliano the Bandit. 
Whatever I've been, I was not just a bandit. I was... Stop the car. Get out. We have had only one savior, Giuliano. And we crucified him. have to do with us. You let five of John Massino's men starve your children. <laughs> have you forgotten why you're here? What are your brother? Your fear. Does he know honor? Pull them off their horses. Bring them to me. Dismount! Make your peace with God. I execute you in the name of God and Cecily. <laughs> Forgive me, will they? No. But they'll never forget you. succeeded in doing what no one else has ever done. 
You have brought together all of the political parties in Italy with at last a common goal. You, dead. They say this army is made up of bachelors, so there will be no widows. Giovanna must leave Sicily now. What? Something in my eye. Come here. Don Mazzino. That I join you. One man doesn't settle with Don Mazzino. One man. Two men. We're all that's left. You're alone, Salvatore. Well, that's how I started. I did all right. said it wasn't. There is nothing more that I can do. I know. You're right. He's crazy, I told him. I could just... You don't want credit. Neither do I. We'll arrange for the police, the army to get the glory. But after I... You will give yourself up. As his accomplice, a year or two in prison, no worse, then a pardon. If what if, what if life you... is hard, Aspano? American's boat can't wait forever. When I get her call, I go. You're doing the right thing, I promise you. Running away? Tell Don Mazzino that I'm only leaving because I have no one left. Except Aspano. Except Aspano.
Find some gun, you'll be safe. I don't want to be safe. You want to go to America? No. What do you want? Land. What will you do now? I'll fight like you, forever. Why? So you can come back to us. I'll tell you a secret. I will never, ever go away. Not really. I'll always be here. Somehow. With you. Salvatore, I, I did all I could for you. I swear, I did, but I couldn't help you. No one could. You promised the people land. They didn't want land. They want bread. That's all. Don Mazzino knew that. You didn't. And what did Don Mazzino promise you? <coughs> A Spani Pisciotto. Are you ready? Shoot. I can't. I told you I wasn't afraid to die. Well, I'm not. My time here is over. Pull the trigger. Can I love you? Obey me. This is Howard Austin, Pathy News in Palermo. The famous Sicilian outlaw Salvatore Giuliano was killed this morning in a fierce shootout with a special Italian commando unit. Did you bring it?
dream of gold, my boy. Here. 